properties of DFT. So in this and we will discuss linearity property of DFT, circular time shift property of the DFT, circular time reversal, also called as circular folding property, symmetry property, circular convolution property, and Parseval's theorem. So the first property we are going to discuss that is linearity property. Now we know that generally the DFT of S of n generally it is represented like this dft s of k so x of n it is the time domain representation and this x of k it is frequency domain representation so we can represent it x of n x of k they are reverse of each other x of n you can calculate the dft that is x of k and x from x of k you can calculate inverse of this that is x of n so this is the representation general representation we can use so with the linearity property i will write the uh, statement that suppose if i am taking x1 of n and x2 of n as a two sequences two sequences and x1 of n the dft of x of x1 of n is x of x1 of k and x2 of n having dft x2 of k then then the linearity property says that if suppose x a1 x1 of n plus a2 x2 of n then it should have the DFT is A1 X1 of K plus A2 X2 of K. It means if the sequences are separate and it is multiplied by any sequence A1 or A2 or with the X1 and X2, the output is also same means the addition of DFT by multiplying with constant values. So this is the property called as linearity property. Now second property we are going to discuss that is circular time shift property. Now here also we will write the statement if suppose x of n having dft x of k then then circular time shift, time shifting may be delay or advance, suppose x of n minus l, any value l you are shifting, then the dft is x of k into c raise 2 minus j 2 pi k divided by n, k divided by n. So that also can be written as is lk so that is written as x of k w n raised to lk so it means if x of n having dft x of k then for the shifted sequence you have to multiply with the w n raised to lk to the x of k means value whatever uh, dft of x of n so you have to multiply so this is the property, second property is called as circular time shift property. Next property is circular time reversal property. So time reversal means folding. Suppose let, let x of n having dft x of k then x of minus n means folded having what will be the dft of folded in case of this one so it is nothing but x of minus k it is also written as x of means it is circular because uh, we are having only some values and that is circular folded circularly circular one so if x of n minus n means x of minus n is also 
return as x of n minus n n is that point of value number of point in dft so it is equal to x of minus k it is nothing but x of n minus k so this is the property called as circular time reversal property next property is circular convolution property so suppose let x of n and h of n are two sequences of which we want to find the circular convolution and and x of n having dft x of k h of n having dft h of k then this property states that is the circular convolution the circular convolution of x of n with h of n the dft is x of k into h of k means it shows that this is time domain representation this is frequency domain representation so one statement is the convolution in time domain becomes simple or multiplication multiplication in frequency domain so simple x of n h of n this is circular convolution of x of n h of n so dft is simple x of k multiplied by h of k so that is circular convolution property of dft 